hello guys uh, welcome to tech design in this uh, video i am going to show you uh, one more sketcher example uh, which is this one uh, there might be some dimension missing in this so we can uh, assume them and uh, we can start making it fully constrained so uh, before going to that i will just create a new file you can go to create new file and this will window will open you can view anything and just change it to millimeter and click ok so this will take you to the part modeling uh, uh, workbench so you need to go to sketcher environment so for that i'll just select the sketcher and uh, select any of the plane and click ok so as soon as you click ok it will take you to the uh, sketcher environment so uh, any sketch you can start it from uh, any point uh, uh, where you wish to so what i will do is i will just uh, start this from here you can see here there is uh, there are two diameter two circles uh, one is around 10 radius and other is around 20 radius so before uh, going to start an uh, sketcher event, i will just uh, delete this and i will make my auto dimension switch off and if you want you can switch it off i'll go to sketcher again so now you can see here 10 uh, radius of uh, 10 and uh, 20 there are two circles so let us make two circles with a diameter of 20 and 40 so the uh, diameter here is given uh, the radius is provided here so i have given uh, of that so i can click this uh, circle anywhere and click c for uh, constraints uh, window so you can directly go to coincidence and you can coincide these two so now uh, these two circles are uh, made now as you can see here uh, there is a uh, one more uh, circle uh, there is a dimension uh, vertical dimension is given from here so that we will start this uh, making this circle so 75 is the distance uh, so what i will do is i will just uh, make a circle with a 75 distance as well as the diameter is 7.5 multiplied by 2 7.5 multiplied by 2 is the diameter and the distance is uh, 75 from this uh, x-axis give 75 as an x-axis Uh, now the the direction around the y axis is around 105 minus 45 so let us give that dimension so this is 105 minus 45 So now uh, as you can see here there is a uh, one more uh, uh, circle and here as well one more circle with a 15 radius I will make this and uh, this again now. So this circle is uh, 15 radius and the diameter is uh, 30. So press C for the constraint and now I will make these two coincidence. Okay and uh, now we have uh, two more circles over here uh, one is uh, radius of 7.5 and another is uh, radius of uh, 15 the same as this one so we'll make uh, two more circles one is 7.5 multiply by 2 and the other is 15 multiply by 2 again i'm going to coincide this concentric you can do give concentric as well as a coincidence for that now as you can see here the distance is here uh, 65 and uh, 35 so i'll give some dimensions to these two circles this is 65 and uh, this dimension is 
okay now we have an uh, line here with a 15 uh, uh, degree angle so i'll just uh, draw a rough line and then we can give an angle of 15 for it so just go to angle dimension and select this with the x axis it is 15 degree so now you can see here uh, this is not constrained so it's uh, movable so what i will do is uh, there is a 10 mm distance uh, from this to this line so what i'll do is i'll just give this line as a 10 mm okay so now what i have to do is uh, i will uh, just make this point should lie on this uh, curve so i'll press c and point on a curve so this is my point should be on this line so as you can see this uh, this is constrained uh, along this direction and the only thing is we have to make it a touch on this circle so for that to press e to extend so click on the line so it will be extended now as you can see here uh, there is an uh, two uh, circles with a 7.5 and 15 mm as same as this so what i will do is i will just uh, draw those two lines as well as two circles sorry so this is uh, 15 and uh, more is 30 and let us make them uh, concentric okay so now uh, you can see here uh, the distance is 30 from this and uh, from this uh, it is around 15 for this uh, this and the distance uh, now you can see here uh, 30 uh, from these two circles and this is 15 from this uh, center so let us give that to linear dimensioning and uh, these two dimension is uh, 30 Either you can give this as a 15 mm uh, by drawing this line or else you can give 15 this radius as well as this 15 as a distance and uh, you can provide 50 mm uh, distance uh, between this point to point. So what I will do is I will just go to NX and I will just give 30 mm for this. Sorry this is 13 okay uh, now uh, we have uh, done all the circles only thing is we have to join them uh, using some fillet command or an edge command so uh, you can see here there is a line uh, which is a vertical line so i will draw that and i will make it to uh, combine this there is a line here so now let us trim this using uh, trim command press t for the trimming and this two trim should be trimmed and as you can see here this line is also trimmed so i'll just trim this okay now we have some uh, uh, edge blends here so this is 5 mm and this is 15 mm so i'll just give that uh, press f for uh, giving a fillet this is 5 mm and between this to this it is a uh, the other direction and this is 15 mm radius okay now this circle is not required so i'll just press t for the trimming so i'll trim that now you can see the straight line over here and there is a straight line here this uh, uh, fillet uh, chamfer dimension is not given so i am not going to make this these two chamfer uh, is given uh, either otherwise you can uh, we can make an assumption of uh, 5 mm or a 10 mm and then we can make this chamfer so before doing this chamfer i will just uh, complete this uh, sketch complete this uh, lines so you can see here uh, one line is uh, coming up over here and there is a one more line from here and there is a one more line which is coming over here 
and one more line coming over here so i'll trim off the extra portions so this should be trimmed this should be trimmed and these two should be trimmed okay i think uh, that's enough and i think this is also trimmed now we have to do give some dimensions as you can see this line uh, this is 115 mm length and 45 from here so let us give those dimensions this is 150. so uh, you can see here uh, this is uh, showing like uh, it is over constrained since this is over constrained because uh, here as well there is an uh, uh, tangency uh, constraint and is here as well there is a tangency constraint so this tangency it is not required so i'm just going to delete this tangency line so now you can see it is not fully constrained so this dimension is 45 so what i'll do is i will just give 45 from this okay now we have left with this one 105 from the center of the circle so what i'll do is i'll just go to linear dimensioning and this is 105 which is in already 105 it is not required to give now so you can just delete that because since we have uh, constrained the, dim uh, the dimension over here from this to this it is 30 from here it is 60 and this is 45 so it is not required to give that okay now what i'll do is uh, we have left with this uh, fillet this is 5 mm i hope this is also 5 mm and uh, let us give 5 mm on both sides press f and this will be 5 and this will be 5 and here there is a chamfer let us assume some uh, chamfer uh, length and let us give 5 mm and let us give 5 mm on the other side as well now we are left with only this sketch so what i will do is i will just uh, uh, i think the horizontal and the vertical dimensions are uh, not given for this so let us make it if it is not fully constrained uh, let us give some assumptions of uh, some dimensions so what i will do is i will just uh, create a 45 degree angle with a construction line so i'll just go to a line command and i'll just create one line is having a angle of 45 with the x axis okay now we have a 30 mm uh, length for this so let us give a 30 mm length go to this dimension and this is 30 mm And there is no other dimensions given for this uh, so what i will do is i will just uh, make an outer uh, outer surface sorry outer arc uh, which is of uh, 7.5 mm so what i will do is i will just create a line which is of 7.5 mm distance from this this should be parallel so the, the dimension for this is uh, sorry guys dimension between these two lines is 1.5 so you can make one more 7.5 line over here by making a mirror command so here is the mirror so i'm just selecting this curve and my center line will be this click ok and this will automatically take it as a convert a reference line so let it be a reference line and from here around 7.5 radius uh, 
arc so what i will do is i will just go to arc from center method this is 7.5 radius so we will start from this and end at this and there is a one more uh, 7.5 radius sorry guys 7.5 and then okay now we have to extend this until it uh, reaches the arc so just press e and i'll extend this and i'll extend this side as well so how to trim the extra portion i'm just going to trim this this as well as this and uh, just extend this and trim this when you are creating the sketches you need to be handy in all the uh, shortcuts for example e for extend uh, t for trim f for uh, fillet providing some fillet to, to any lines so this is uh, the sketch guys there are still uh, two more constraints required since this uh, sketch is not fully constrained see as you can see here this is only the angle is given to this as a 45 degree and you need to give some uh, x and y direction uh, uh, distances so apart from this uh, sketch is completely uh, constrained I think there is an uh, fillet over here. Okay, there is no fillet given. So now what I'll do is I'll just uh, hide all the dimensions. Control W. Uh, sorry. So just I'm just going to have a sketch dimensions. Uh, control all. Control B. So this is what. Uh, the sketch given guys okay we have completed the sketch thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you